I'm still learning what my new Artec plasma cutter can do. So this is mostly an experiment. I'm using galvanized steel sheet that is less than one millimeter thick. It's cheap. I paid 23 euro for an 8x4 sheet and the plasma cutter can cut it easily as you'd expect. I have it on the lowest setting and it's cutting at 3 meters a minute. That bright light isn't as bright as a welder but you still need a mask and of course the fumes need to be extracted continuously. The challenge comes because the thin steel warps in the heat a whole lot and the torch has to be exactly the right distance from the surface at all times. So what's the solution? Something called a torch height controller. This little thing measures the voltage of the electric arc and makes adjustments to the torch height as the metal warps. The problem is getting the settings right. Mostly it's been working fine, but not always. Here's what happens when things go wrong. No harm done because the torch can pivot if necessary. And there's a big red stop button to push when things go wrong. I pushed it a few times. <laughs> Clever people can cut corrugated iron with one of these machines. Perhaps I'll get there one day. Anyway, the handy thing about these cuts is that they are about one and a half millimeters wide. So the sheet itself can fit into the slot snugly. So with a bit of design work, I was able to make identical pieces that slot together and make a grid of boxes. All the parts are identical, so I just kept pushing the buttons and cutting a new set. Then I made a 4x4 four four grid and kept going. This one is 9 by 9, 81 little boxes. I made the grids to all fit a standard paving slab. These are readily available and cheap and they don't rot and they're very solid. I cut a shallow groove across the four corners to hold some wire that holds the grid in place. And here's the reason I'm making these boxes. These are just some of the ash tree saplings that we pulled off our roof this winter. The bigger ones have already been planted out, but these small ones are going to need to be potted up for a couple more years at least. I'm not a fan of plastic pots and seed trays at all. They fall apart in no time, especially when they're outside in the sun, as these will have to be. So I'm hoping that these steel containers will work. There we are. The smallest boxes are for tree seeds and seedlings. I may need a few more of those. What's brown and sticky? In you go, little thing. What fun! Of course, you don't need a fancy plasma cutter to make these. A thin cutting disc in a grinder would do the same thing. Or even a metal bandsaw. A bit soggy, isn't it? But I have a plasma cutter these days and I'm going to play with it. <laughs> 